Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh The Honorable Judges and my beloved audience First of all, let's praise and thanks the presence of Allah Almighty For the abundance of grace and the joy of all of us Can still gather in this place without any barriers at all and in good health And also, let's deliver salawat and salam to our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, who has brought us from the darkness to the brightness. So we are always in a right path. Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce myself. My name is Dinda Fira Sabrina. I'm from Muhammadiyah Malang University. On these occasions, allow me standing here to deliver a couple of sentence speech about technology with the theme. Bring back the spirit of generosity to achieve higher quality with EFEC collaborations. Under the title, The Importance of Technology in Education for Students. Now, human very depend on technology. This makes technology basic need for everyone, from parents to young people, also use technology in a various aspect of life. Today's technology has developed rapidly. The development of information technology right now gives the influences in education to always and constantly trust technological developments to avert in improving the quality of education, especially adjusting the use of information and communication technology for education in learning process. Ladies and gentlemen, in globalization, technology gives many advantages for us especially in education. What are they? First, making the access information easily. At present, since the development of technology, students can access information easily. For example, in using internet. By using internet, students can get more information about material that has not been, is being, or will be learned at school. The internet is also a place that provides an opportunity for students to learn new things through tips and tricks as well as tutorials about something by watching YouTube. Second, the implementations of e-learning. E-learning or electronic learning is a learning method that uses internet or IT networks. E-learning is very easily accessible that can improve student competences in technology and academic achievement. Learning innovations through technology usually make students' learning interest increase than classical ways such as lecturing, detecting, or taking notes. By using learning, students can interact with the teacher through video calls and short messages. Besides learning time is getting shorter, students can access the material at any time and repeatedly so that they can understand the materials well. Third, as media creativity, the development of technology has provided many benefits for humans, especially in education, for example, in drawing something. There is no need to provide canvas, brushes, and watercolors. All we need is tablet to make the sketch easily. The others, there are many facilities that we can use, such as YouTube. It becomes a positive place for the students who have hobbies and talents in this field, where there is only it's a consumer that they can produce what they want. The last, delivering communications easily and quickly. Communications is the most important thing and much needed, especially in interacting with others by chatting or face-to-face -face through video calls and others. Students can use technology to convey information, even to interact with their friends, parents, or their teacher. They can use facilities that are already familiar to us, namely WhatsApp. Thus, the development of technology has provided many advantages in education, especially for students. The students can get more information about material that has not been, is being, or will be learned at school. The students can also implement e-learning in a learning process with the teacher. They can also explore their creativity with the many applications that are served by technology. The last, the students can communicate with their friends, parents, or the teacher easily and quickly. Ladies and gentlemen, 
in spite of many benefits that we can be obtained by technology, we must be careful in using it because the development of technology have also negative impacts that we need to pay attention and avoid with it. The main point here is to protect and control ourselves to face the development of technology. That's all for my speech. I hope you understand my speech. Thank for your attention and also forgive my mistakes. The last I say, wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.